<gasps> Ian, again with these amazing bits of kit, do you get seasonal variation? Am I going to get better images during the winter than, than summer or what's, what's going on there? You, you will do because the air temperature plays such a big part on how the thermal imager works it's going to have a major impact on your, your image quality. So we see a lot, especially during autumn or spring, where temperatures are very mild during the day and they don't change much at night. We get a lot of phone calls where customers are not getting much background detail. And it's not that your device is faulty, it's just because, say for example, a stone dike's been sitting there at six degrees during the day and it's say four or five degrees at night, there's not that big a temperature difference for the device to be able to pick up on the stone dike. So it starts to merge and blend in with the, the air temperature the device is picking up. We will see a lot of people sort of during the daytime uh, in summer find that they don't get a lot of performance out of the device. And again, it's down to the air temperature and how the animal or the, your quarry is getting picked up. It's because it's temperature is so close to the air temperature, you're not getting the background details and you're not getting the same sort of contrast you would do, say at minus six during December, and a fox comes walking out and it's sitting at 20, 30 degrees and it's nice bright white. You don't get that in the summer just because of the air temperatures. Will certain products be able to cope with that better than others? Some products will, especially now with, say, Pulsar's new algorithms that they're putting in the new products, where it's specifically designed to cut through sort of noisy grainy images so it helps pr improve the performance. A lot of other devices as well such as the Hick Micro Griffins, because they've got a fusion system built in, not only is it working off a thermal channel, it's working off an optical channel as well. So it's overlaying that, uh, those two images which then helps produce better image quality. So you can then run it off of either thermal or digital and it gives you that added advantage of merging the two together and give you better image details, especially during sort of warmer weather conditions, that works a lot better. <gasps>